happy sunday everybody welcome back to another video i hope you're having an amazing sunday so far thanks for clicking on bath and body works slash white bond rose water and ivy candle review so i have been as you can see i'm almost nearing completion of this candle so i thought before this candle gets over let me review it for you guys because this is a very popular fragrance um in bath and body works especially if you if you speak of the body care so yeah and it is almost all the time readily available online as well as in stores so i thought if you're interested to pick up this candle uh, this video will help you so we'll dive into the fragrance notes first as always and then i'm going to talk about the candle in details so the fragrance description reads soft rose petals rain kissed ivy spring musk with natural essential oils so this packaging that you're seeing in front of you is the white barn packaging. I bought this candle in 2019 and I have burnt it so many times, you guys. Obviously, this candle is not going to be I don't even know how many times I've burnt this candle for a good two hours each time. So I've gotten a very good use out of this candle. And this candle has somewhat given me mixed experiences which i will of course talk about in this video so uh rose water and ivy what is what does this candle smell like this basically is just a rose perfume so when i burnt it the first few times i was uh, kind of i had mixed feelings to be honest because i thought it would be more of like fresh roses smell sadly this is more of a rose perfume smell than uh, the fresh roses smell uh, which can be a good point as well as a not so good point because there are people out there though some of you may like this fragrance some of you may just not like this fragrance it's a very wet uh, perfumey fragrance pretty strong right now however initially when I burnt this candle it disappointed me because there was barely any fragrance and the throw was also not so good um, but we'll talk about that in a second so coming back to the fragrance so you know if you if you pick up like those rose perfumes any perfume from like the, the body shop or any other rose fragranced perfume uh, this vibe is exactly like those artificial rose perfumes so it's a good fragrance to have in a room but only for specific occasions like i burnt this candle most of the times i have burnt this candle only on my uh, like two anniversaries birthdays um maybe some uh, special evening i feel like i feel overly romantic some evening i'll burn this candle to get a nice vibe if some guests are coming over which from the past one and a half years has been reduced but you know still when i do have occasion occasional visitors in my house and i want to have a nice fragrance i do light this candle up and they have actually liked this fragrance um so yeah this might be a mixture of uh, fragrance likes and dislikes for you people so if you do like the rose perfume fragrance you will enjoy this candle if you do not like that fragrance yeah you will not enjoy this candle initially when i bought this fragrance i thought uh, you know and when when i started getting the smell i was like oh my god i'm going to love the fragrance mist in this particular fragrance but to my surprise as well uh, it i haven't picked up any body care from this range and this candle is the only fragrance i have <laughs> from this range in my house um the main reason for that is this fragrance because it is so artificial and perfumey um might get a little overwhelming for some people and it does get a little overwhelming to me so talking about the performance of this candle like i said that initially this candle disappointed me because when i burnt it I, a i could not get any strong fragrance the fragrance was very uh, mild and only i could smell it near it when i moved away from the candle i could not get any fragrance and secondly the throw was also not so good the throw was coming on just about a three or a four maybe even two or three um so this candle did disappoint me there um but i kept burning it obviously and then from the third or the fourth burn somewhere uh, this candle drastically changed its performance you know she performed so well afterwards and up as you hold it towards the end of the candle is the moment you light it it just starts fragrance uh, the, the fragrance just starts spreading it's pretty strong the throw is a good eight 
or, or 9 of, out of 10, 10 being the highest. So it's that strong of a fragrance now. So in the first couple of burns, it was underperforming and then it started to perform. Um, however, that being said, I did not have any issues with the wax not pooling or the wicks not, uh, you know, having good, nice flames. The wicks always had nice flames. Um, and even now, if I can show you, the wicks are really performing well. I've been lighting this candle only for about 15 minutes, 20 minutes and the wax has completely melted because the flames are pretty high now that it is at the bottom of the um, candle. So the flames are pretty high, very strong fragrance and uh, overall this candle is performing very well now. So overall this candle is performing so good now the moment you light it it starts to spread the fragrance. Now one more thing I have to say about this candle is that even though this doesn't really release any soot I haven't seen any soot release from this candle. Uh, somehow the wax just got a little smoky and had black elements in it um, and uh, because of that the smokiness like that burnt fragrance got just mixed in the fragrance of the candle and was very gross in the middle. I didn't feel like burning it so this candle I didn't have in the beach because I didn't feel like burning it because of that smokiness that burnt fragrance that got mixed with the candle fragrance. I don't know how that even happened because this doesn't really suit. I always burn, uh, blow out the candles by dipping the wicks into the wax. Maybe at some point the excessive wax wick uh, got mixed into the wax or what because I did see those black elements into the uh, wax. I'm not sure if I've taken a video or a photo of that. If I have, I will include it in, in this video. But yeah, so that was something that was not not at all pleasant and I didn't burn this candle for a very long time because of that. So you can see some of these uh, black elements which are sitting down at the bottom of the jar now. Um, so th this was that this was the reason why this candle in the middle was uh, releasing like that smoky burnt kind of smell into the fragrance. Um, because this has uh, the, the elements have just settled at the bottom so the wax is I guess clear of those elements so yeah make sure when you are blowing out the candle this thing does not happen because this will just ruin your fragrance also if you see the wax pool has got a little muddy like a little dirty that is all the soot collection um I think at the top of my head what I'm assuming the reason should would be is that initially I used to blow out this candle by just putting the lid onto it uh, because that was what was recommended on YouTube but I think it's such a bad idea to do so because this is what happens the smoke just gets trapped into the jar mixes with your wax and it just becomes this gross burnt kind of thing and also these uh, weak elements um, fall into the wax so every time now i blow out my candle i just dip the wa uh, wick into the wax uh, that's a lot better way to um, blow out the candle or just simply blow out the candle you know don't care about the smoke come that comes out for a couple of seconds at least your candle doesn't ruin but after uh, some time that i think i don't know what happened but now i'm not getting any of that smokiness and also maybe it was just somewhere in the middle um, of the candle burn where that smokiness and that burnt fragrance was also coming so I thought I'll let you know about that because this is the only candle that has actually given me that smokiness uh, kind of a fragrance along with the actual fragrance but aside from that I'm pretty happy with this candle this candle is not a must-have for me uh, candle but it's a good to have candle in my house uh, like i said if i if i need it for just romantically inclined evenings i burn this candle because this is such a romantic fragrance for me it's not a must-have candle for me i mean once this gets over i'm not going to miss this candle at all uh, but it's a good to have candle so that's about this review video you guys thank you so much for watching this video if you have liked this video don't forget to like this video comment and subscribe if you haven't already um and i barely say this but do follow me on instagram as well i do have an instagram handle yes i do um so yeah if you want to just uh, be friends with me there and thank you so much for watching this video i will see you again in the next one till then all of you take care and i hope you have a great week ahead bye